guys welcome back today we're gonna do um earth signs taurus virgo cap you don't have to be an earth sign for this read to resonate with you only take what resonates leave the rest don't make it fit if it doesn't fit know that rose can, roles can be reversed if i say it to you could be your person and uh know that tarot is for entertainment purposes and also to give you some clarity to your situation if you want a personal read you can go to venmo jesse ray 21 or go over to rootsandrewards.com to see all the services and uh, merchandise that I provide over there. Okay, so Earth Signs. What do you gotta, guys gotta hear for your higher good? Let's see. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna do you versus your person. I think that's what I wanna do. You versus your person. All right. Someone is going to start feeling abundant or you're feeling abundant right now. You're feeling fortunate. All right. And if you're not feeling this right now, the wheel is turning in your favor. Could be with finances. Could also be with a love relationship. So you might be dealing with a Leo. All right, so you and your person have the same mindset. This is what I'm feeling. You both have the same mindset. You're both wanting abundance. You're both wanting happiness. You're both wanting change. All right, that's good. Yeah, reversing heartbreak here. I feel like that's centering this. You and your person are trying to um, uplift after there was a very hard time between the two of you guys. All right, it's looking good. So you could be, okay. Yeah, definitely. I think you started standing your ground with this person and being bold and started uh, valuing yourself seeing yourself as a good investment and now you're wearing it you're wearing you're in your own skin now at this point you're really um claiming who the who the hell you are so you're standing pretty strong right now and financially i think you guys are going towards good investment so this person has been slow to come in and bring you an offer of love all right I think this person is very reserved um, I think they're very they're being very protective over their heart. All right. This person could be a little bit shy too, I'm coming forward to you. This could be a new person, but I feel like it isn't because there's heartbreak. Yeah. Maybe you're recovering from heartbreak and this person comes in. Take it out, resonates for you. What's this person? This person's working on themselves. They're trying to gain their funds. You could be you could be dealing with a fellow uh, Earth sign here too, Taurus in particular. Um, this person is working on themselves. They're trying to uh, gain more finances. They're trying to um, be you know making wise decisions. So that's why they they're very slow. I don't think this person jumps into things very quickly. So they really think and overthink and uh, analyze. They they analyze every uh, life choice of theirs. They don't want to get caught up in a web. All right. So they do. They are looking for movement here with you. All right. So there is movement, wanting to move towards you, possibly to give a commitment. Or invest time, you know, invest time with you. You could be dealing with the cancer. All right, so where, what does this person want? Wants you. 
You're the Empress. Taurus. They're wanting to go towards the Empress. This is how you're looking like to this person now. They see that you're probably moving away from them and you're manifesting what you want in your life. You're looking gorgeous. They see you as beneficial to them at this point now. And that's why they want to commit. I keep seeing spirits in the room right now. So they're wanting to move towards the Empress. To a person that is very, they're very in their power. You are, you're getting in your power. They're liking your, um, that boss energy that you have going on right now. All right, so how are you looking? What's going on in your side? What's going on with you? Yeah. I think you're you're on the brink of moving away from this person because you're just you're tired of waiting for them to bring happiness in you're tired of waiting for them to stop being selfish and greedy with you you know it's been a long time coming waiting on them to come in you could be waiting on this this person to come in to another country to commit to you for three or more years You've been waiting on this person to, you know, show face, to stop holding so tightly to their funds or too tightly to um, not allowing you to come in and get to know them well. You're tired of the, the lack of clarity that they have brought to you. So you're, see, you both are trying to move on from the heartbreak that went on in this connection. Wanting to close that out, see? Wanting to close out cycles of the past hurt and indecisiveness. Close out indecision and commit. You want this person to commit. You both want to commit to each other here. There's no doubt. In my mind, possibly you're both Hierophants. You're very wise. People come to you both, come to both of you. You give good advice. You may be a teacher, a counselor, healer. Could be a tower reader. They could be well known in the community. You're both pretty powerful in your own energy. And you, you see, you see that that power between the two of you guys, both of you, see that you want to go long term. You want to stay in it long term with one another. You don't want to have that conflict. You don't want to fight. So maybe too many people got involved in this connection and it threw you guys into a battle. you battling each other here. But this person sees growth with you. They see that they could, you know, grow old with you and make something out of this connection. You could wear all cool, like cool, like pocketbooks. Or your person might have a lot of things like dangling from their clothes, like ropes or chains. person feeling about their person. I just saw the two of cups. So your person is in love with you. It's mutual. It's mutual energy. See? No, see, you guys are um, mirroring each other here. This is like a big mirror. You both have the same thoughts, the same direction. You both, same card, not wanting conflict, not wanting too many people involved in the connection. 
not wanting anyone to um, throw stones at each other. You both are wise beyond your years. You both, I just saw 11 11. This feels like Twin Flame. It does. It does feel like it. Not for all of you. Don't get stuck on the title, but it may just be a Twin Flame to you. You're both wanting to commit. You're both wanting to invest. You both have uh, inner knowing. You have intuition. You both know that this heartbreak. This hurt that you've given each other needs to end. So you're both wanting it to end. That's really good. Right. So this person definitely doesn't want to fight with you. They want to grow. They want to see where it can go. What else is it? The person may even come with come in with an apology from being so distant and um, dis, uh, disconnected from you, detached from you. They do think about you at night and they just feel very closed. They feel very closed off. They may feel like they're not good enough or they may not have enough to give to you in this connection. And that's why they let you go. But this person wants to come in now. They stay up at night fantasizing about you. Thinking about ways of how to uplift you and make you feel good and get that, that nice, warm, passionate energy back with you. So they're wanting to touch you. They're wanting to embrace you again. They're wanting to hug on you. They may really love your body. You got a slamming body on you. They also may have nice arms. So what else is this person wanting to do? They're tired of reminiscing about you. They're tired of inactivity. They're... They don't want to feel left out in the cold. Their ego is possibly a little bit hurt. You possibly walked away from this person because, you know, you waited. You waited a long time for them to step up and they, they were not doing it. They left you on your knee waiting on them. So they're wanting to come in and make pull you out of feeling betrayed by them and backstabbed by them. They're throwing their hands up throwing the white flag and saying, okay, let's make peace. Let's make peace with one another. Let's get the wheel turning again. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be trapped by you. So there might have been some control issues here. They're wanting to rush in with action and talk about what went on in this connection. A serious conversation is coming in between this you and this person. It might have been a week since you talked to this person, eight days to eight weeks. What do they want to say? What does this person want to say? They want to tell you the reason why they're guard, why they've guarded themselves. They fear what people are going to say about this connection or maybe too many people have an opinion about this relationship. They feel that they have to fight people off in order to stay around you. Why does this person have to fight people off? person may feel like they don't have enough um, of emotional investment to give to you. They don't feel, they're not fulfilled right now. 
they're going to communicate that they aren't happy and they're looking for happiness and they felt that they had to kind of like stay in their corner away from you not to ruffle any feathers with other people But now they're coming in to say, I want movement. I want, I want a chance. Give me a chance. I'm passionate for you. I'm lustful for you. Take me in. Take me back. I want warmth. I want warmth again in this connection. You could be dealing with a Leo Airy Sag or a Cancer. You could be Indonesian, dark skin. Glowing. You got a nice glow to you. Glow to your skin. You got real nice, smooth, smooth, clear skin. So what are you going to do about this person here? What are you doing? Don't let this person... Ooh, okay. So you may feel like you don't want to communicate with this person. You're sideways about it. You're not sure if you want to communicate with this person anymore. You're on the fence about it. You're not going to take action towards them. You're going to sit. You probably know that this person's going to be coming back in with some communication. What else are you going to do with what are you going to do with it? Uh, you could be spying on this person. Waiting on them. You check in on them. But I think you just stand in your ground at this point. It could be an air sign. Dealing with an air sign. What else is going to be happening here? Yeah, you're pulling your investment back away. You're not investing in this person. You refuse to be toxic. You could be a Capricorn, dealing with Capricorn. You refuse to go through another toxic cycle with this person or to be manipulated or controlled by their energy. So you just sit and you just watch them from afar, like loving them from a distance. Yeah, you're turning your back away from this person because they're aloof, they're detached. You can't take the detachment, you can't take the lack of uh, communication or the harsh words, uh, but you could be holding on, you know, to this person to transform. You're wishing this person transforms with the death card. You're hoping that they transform from this toxic energy to this bright energy. So you're hoping that they deal with their shadow aspects and start shining like the sun. So you see the good in this person, but they haven't shown you, um, they've shown you a lot of uh, devilish tendencies, but yet you, you see the shine in them. All right, so you see the potential of this person, not really what they're showing you. They're showing you that they have a fiery nature. They, they go into things very quickly before thinking. They are super sexy person got sex appeal no doubt about that they're a good looker just like you are you guys match but you're kind of at the point of like all right i gotta make a judgment call to row away from this person because there's lack of movement the, the person can't come to a conclusion of what they want they're juggling they're you know yo-yoing back and forth Spending more time with other people. Not, you know, not giving enough. Right. So you're kind of fed up. You're, you're working on yourself and you're looking hot. You, you're trotting around town. You refuse to be in stagnant energy or continue to be in this on this wheel with this person. Passion. Is this person is this person in love with 
the viewer. This person in love with the viewer. They don't want you to row. They're, they're going to heal the connection. I feel like they're in love. They are. They, they want... Look at this. Leo again. Definitely a lot of you guys are dealing with a Leo that's wanting to balance the connection, bring harmony back in, and uplift you. Wanting you to touch, wanting you close to them so they could protect you. I think this person is, um, you inspire this person. You motivate them to want to be a better, better person. They feel um, defeated by the fact that they weren't valuing you as the queen of wands. They weren't, they didn't see your worth when they had you. Now they're seeing that you're single and you're living your life and you're trying to um, gain your independence. They see you as a single entity and they don't really like that. They don't want you to be single. They see you as single and strong. Single and strong. And they're ready to battle. They're ready to come for you. They're ready to fight for you. They're getting out of their mental conflict and coming in. All right, that's good. All right, so I think we're gonna go over to the extended on this read and see what's next. We're gonna do initials. We're gonna do uh, messages from your person with my Love Me, Love Me Not Oracle deck, some inspirational and self-care over there. It's sexual and emotional dynamic between the two. Some sexy time cards. And that's what I got for you guys. So it's looking good. This person is, is coming in and is um, wanting to commit to the relationship to make it happy again. All right, guys, so if this read does, did resonate with you, feel free to donate to my channel. All donations are much appreciated. All the bookings, all the support you gave me on a daily basis, I love it all. Uh, make sure to write down your signs. Um, like and subscribe the videos with the most uh, likes views and comments uh we'll get additional reads if i have the energy and time to do so okay uh last week leo and aquarius uh won the uh, individual reads for you guys make sure to follow me on all outlets instagram TikTok, and facebook and I do provide chakra healing intention candles, $5 donation for one or 25 for the seven. That throws you back into um, alignment with your chakras. Um, my healing is sent to you and that's it. That's all I got, getting a little tired. So I'll meet you over at the extended. It's gonna be $9.99. Uh, make sure when you purchase it on Venmo or Cash App that you write your info, either your Instagram, message me on Instagram or send me an email or on my website of where you want me to send uh, the extended to and which extended you want. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.